Hey fam, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Carolyn Ann. My channel is a lifestyle channel where I do mainly budget videos, sit and sip videos, log videos, and other random videos thrown in here and there. In today's video, we will be going over last week's budget as well as this week's budget. If you are interested in this type of video, please stay tuned. But first, I'd like to thank all my new subscribers. Hey fam, welcome to the team. And to all my old subscribers, hey fam, welcome back. So let's get started and let's see how we did. In our budget from March 19th to the 25th, in the expense category, we budgeted $369.89 for our car payment, $382 for NailNet B, $100 for IRS, and $70 for our personal trainer. That came up to $921.89. In our actual category, that is exactly what we spent. In our cash envelopes, we budgeted $100 for lunch, $75 for grocery, $70 for gas, $65 for eating out, $40 for personal, $20 for miscellaneous, and $20 for household. That came up to $390. In our actual category, we spent $60 on lunch, which was a difference of $40, $75 in groceries, $70 in gas, $47 in eating out, which was a difference of $18, $20 in personal, which was a difference of $20, nothing in miscellaneous, which left $20, and nothing in household, which left $20. Our actual total came up to $272, which was a difference of $118. In our sinking funds, we budgeted $180. And in our savings challenges, we budgeted $90. That came up to a total of $270. And in our actual category, that is exactly what we put in. In our income versus our expenses, I estimated our income to be $1,399.04 plus the carryover of $200 which brung our total to $1,599.04, minus the expense of $921.89, minus the cash envelopes of $390, minus the sinking funds of $180, and minus the savings challenge of $90. That left a balance of $17.15. In our actual category, our income was $1,399.04, plus the carryover of $200, which brought our total to $1,599.04, minus the expenses of $921.89, minus the cash envelopes of $272, which was a difference of $118, minus the sinking funds of $180, and minus the savings challenge of $90. That left a balance of $135.15, which was a difference of $118. In our budget from March the 26th through April 1st, in the expense category, I budgeted $560 for our phone bill, $115 for our chiropractor, $100 for Best Buy, $64.66 for homeowner's warranty, and $51.66 for life insurance. That came up to a total of $891.32. In our cash envelopes, I budgeted $100 for lunch, $75 for groceries, $70 for gas, $65 for eating out, $40 for personal, $20 for miscellaneous, and $20 for household. That came up to a total of $390. In our sinking funds, I budgeted $180. And in our savings challenge, I budgeted $90. That came up to a total of $270. In our income versus our expenses, I estimated our income to be $1,692.01. Minus the expenses of $891.32, minus the cash envelopes of $390, minus the sinking funds of $180, and minus the savings challenge of $90. That leaves us a balance of $140.69. So fam, that is all for this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification button so that you'll be notified next time I upload a video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye fam.